Hi, this is Rob Wilcox. I want to show you today a quick video about how PST Disable Grow affects Enterprise Vault clients. So first of all, what I've got here is an Outlook 2007 system running on XP, sorry, on Windows 7 even. And you can see I can open items. I can open non-archived items and I can open uh, archived items. So let's close Outlook and I've gone all the way down in this tree to HK Current User, Software, Policies, Microsoft, Office 12.0 because I'm using Outlook 2007, then Outlook, then PST. This is the place that group policies will uh, show up when they land on a user's system. So I've set here PST Disable Grow equals zero. I'm going to change that now to be a one. That's normally what people do. They push that out by a group policy and then the next time Outlook's opened what you'll find is first of all if you're using a, a recent client you'll get this pop-up displayed telling you that a key has been added um, to your machine that might affect how Enterprise Vault works. But of course users see pop-ups all the time they'll probably tick this box saying don't show it again and then they'll click on OK. Now what we can see is I can open non-archived items fine but I can't open archived items just the shortcut gets opened. And if I uh, hold control and then click on the grey banner you see this pop-up. The item could not be downloaded OIOM and then a hex code. That'll happen on any of these archived items that I open. Of course, what the issue is, is that we have disabled the growing of PST files. And what happens is that Enterprise Vault retrieves the item and then it's downloaded to the client, put in a PST file so that it can be displayed to the user. So Microsoft invented uh, a way around this with a registry key called PST Disable Grow Allow Authenticode Overrides and we set that to 1. Now there's an article on the Microsoft site that talks about how you can implement code that um, will use this authenticated override and allow you to still programmatically use PSTs as you could before you implemented PST Disable Grow. Now when I open Outlook now I don't get that message anymore saying there's a setting that exists that might prevent Outlook and Enterprise Vault working correctly, that's because I've got PSTC's PSD Disable Grow set and the override set. So now I can open non archived items like before and I can open archived items again. Just like that. So, just to recap, if you implement PST Disable Grow, that will result. Uh, a via group policy or via a register key, the best place to go for it is under HK Current User Policies Microsoft Office 12.0 if you're using uh, Outlook 2007, 14.0 for Outlook 2010, then Outlook, then PST, and you put PST Disable Grow equals 1. You then have to have the PST Disable Grow Allow Authenticate Authenticode Override set to 1 as well. With both of those set, Enterprise Vault retrieval of items will be fine and also Vault Cache Virtual Vaults if you use those they'll also be fine. I hope this shows you the sort of issues that you can get with PSD Disable Grow especially if you don't have the override set. Thanks very much, bye bye.